Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our What and Where to Invest uh, seminar in, for 2021. Since we've last met in uh, KL in Penang, many things have changed, and including this, the format of this event. We have moved this event online. And please bear with us, because this is the first time we are creating such a, a large-scale virtual event. If uh, there is anything that uh, we, uh, we need to improve on, it's not so smooth, we will definitely do it better in the next time. So the, moving this event online, there are a lot of pros and cons. One of the pros would be, of course, now uh, our clients in uh, the south, southern part of Malaysia, in the east coast, in uh, east Malaysia, they do not have to feel uh, so left out anymore. And, but one of the biggest cons would be really, uh, we don't get to meet you uh, physically, face to face. And I actually miss uh, chatting with our regular customers, trying to find out how their portfolio did last year and we exchange uh, investment ideas. So going forward, when the COVID situation is over, we'll definitely uh, be looking at uh, finding out some events that we can create on di in different states on a smaller scale so that we still get to meet you personally. For investors who are new to our platform, uh, please allow me to introduce briefly introduce our FSM1 platform to you. <clears throat> and uh, we have been around since 2008. We started off distributing in Unitrust products. And since then, we have moved on to various other different products. And that's why we have rebranded ourselves and we are known as FSM1 right now. Uh, we are regulated by Securities Commission as, bank, as well as Bank Nagara to deal in a variety of investment products. This includes regulated products such as unit trust, bonds, managed portfolios, and insurance. There are more than 600 products for you to choose from. And if you do not know how to get started, please contact our uh, team, our client investment specialist. They will be more than happy to help you. One thing I would definitely like to highlight right now is that we do not contact you via WhatsApp to ask for any kind of investment and the amount is never to be banked into any personal, uh, any other body, uh, anybody's personal account. We have received some uh, uh, complaints or rather feedback saying that uh, some investors have, in, uh, some, someone has impersonated us and asked for investment. So please, if you are not aware of this, uh, you have received such kind of emails, please come to us and a drop us email, find out more from us, okay? So there are, another thing that I would like to share with you is that uh, a lot of investors have put in um, their investment through us. In August last year, we did a giveaway of dining vouchers and we shared with investors that uh, we have uh, almost $3 billion uh, ringgit worth of investment put through us by investors. And by the end of last year, that amount grew to 4 billion ringgit. So it's a, a huge jump. We have a lot of investors joining us last year. And in fact, now we are serving more than 100,000 clients in Malaysia. For existing investors, uh, you would have noticed we had a major revamp of our website in end of October last year. So on the desktop version as well as the mobile version is a cleaner look right now. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed using it. And at the end of last year, we also enabled transactional capabilities on our mobile uh, going forward, we will be uh, and had continuing to enhance the uh, user experience. If you have any great idea you'd like to share with us, please feel free to drop us an email. If it's feasible, we will definitely look at incorporating it. Okay, going to 20, 2021, there's also something very exciting I would like to share with you. Okay. Investors may soon get to transact in stocks and ETF with us. We have received approval in principle from the regulator to deal in stocks and uh, ETFs. Uh, of course, we are working very hard right now to meet the stringent criteria set by the regulator and we hope to officially launch these by the end of this quarter. With that, FSM1 will become a much more comprehensive uh, platform and you can uh, buy stocks and ETFs aside from unit trusts, bonds and insurance. After sharing with you the development for FSM1, I'll just like to add my two cents worth of uh, on the markets. right? Uh, 2020 was indeed a turbulent year and investors uh, initially they were quite happy because at the start of the year as trade tensions escalated between US and China, markets reached a new record high in somewhere February 2020. After that, we had the outbreak of the COVID situation. Uh, a lot of the countries go into lockdown. Aviation industry, travel industry, they were crushed and they have yet to recover from it. 
So from February all the way to March, we have seen a decline of almost 30% in a short span of time. Uh, after that, as uh, the investors take a look at the various businesses, they start to realize technology sector is going to benefit from it uh, because their business is not affected. And we also seen a uh, healthcare sector benefiting from it because uh, they are trying to develop a vaccine to cope with the COVID situation. So as a result, uh, from the bottom of uh, the market, if you have invested at that point of time, you probably made about 50% returns in global equities. And for investors who did not uh, panic, did not sell out, you managed to hold through the entire year, you still get a pretty good return of about 12%. And for more risky investors, if you have invested in tech, if you have invested in healthcare, if you have invested in electronic vehicles related teams or semicon industry, you probably more than doubled your money. So, uh, previously, when we have discussions or we share with uh, investors, we have to deal with uh, clients' uh, feelings of fear. I still remember when uh, I spoke to clients, it's about coming them down during subprime crisis, during European sovereign debt crisis, during the Chinese hard landing, and even the more recently US-China uh, trade war somewhere in 2018 and 2019. Those were, the, those were the times that we have to try to calm clients down. Okay, the markets have fallen quite a bit, but if the earnings remains intact, then the valuations price divided by earnings, price because it has dropped so much, then it becomes much more attractive. So investors should take the opportunity to add on into the market rather than uh, panic and sell. But this time round, we are dealing with something totally different. Okay, uh, I, I believe we are dealing with a situation, it's not about fear anymore, it's about greed. And I just like to share with you <clears throat> some of uh, why, why I think that uh, the market is feeling a bit greedy. A lot of investors are feeling greedy right now. One of it is uh, uh, I try to convince my friends to invest in the markets. So after a long time, I've been in the market for a long time, but last year they picked up investing. And of course, when I introduce them, I try to introduce something that is, um, I would say, a bit more stable. So I told them either you get a global equity fund or best still get a managed portfolio uh, from our, our platform. So managed portfolio, if you go for a balanced managed portfolio, you can expect to make about six to eight percent per annum. That's what our objective is. We try to do that. And they picked up my advice, managed to invest in them and initially they were quite happy with the returns. But after sometimes in the market, they become expert by themselves. And in recent months, I noticed that uh, some of them may have sold off their managed portfolios. And when I checked with them, uh, they gave me the answer. You know, 6 to 8% per annum is actually a bit low. They have started to look at stocks and they are discussing stock ideas. Anything, any stock that doesn't go up 5 to 10% in a day, it is very boring to them anymore. So th there is a whole change of mentality right now. I see it in my friend and in public places. Uh, I start to hear a lot more people talking about stocks and how excited they are. And if you look at recent IPOs in the US or in Hong Kong, any stock that's, that does not give you 50% return on IPO day, then it's a disappointment. Okay, and most crazily, one of the stock that uh, my guy friends uh, shared with me about was this stock <clears throat> uh, that recently IPO, I think somewhere in November last year, October, November last year. I took a look at a company which I should not, uh, shall not name, but uh, it's quite crazy in the sense that the company does not expect to have a commercially viable product until 2025. And it does not have, expect to have a profit until 2027. The share prices uh, after its IPO at its peak was about, it returned about four to 500%. That's within the span of two months. And you think about it, a company that has got no product, a company that has got no earnings, it still managed to generate about 400, four to 500% return. Obviously, uh, in this kind of climate, I see euphoria and that worries me a lot more. As much as uh, this trend is unsettling, uh, I, I, I think the key takeaway is, right, we have to be worried about uh, the euphoria out there. Some markets are overstretched but we should never 
be totally out of the market. We should always still remain invested. It's just that uh, perhaps not as much as you think, do, do not take as much risk as you think that you can handle. The main reason is because in current environment where the various countries are recovering from COVID, we will expect a lot of governments to spend a bit more to try to stimulate the economy, to help the uh, people get back on their feet. And central banks uh, right now, uh, they will be continue to be on easing mode. So the last thing they will do is to raise interest rate at this moment of time. So if you have interest rates, uh, the less risky assets giving you so little return, then most people will still choose to remain in equities. So um, the government support measures will continue to support equities valuation. And the other thing is that uh, markets can remain re irrational for a long time. So markets that are overextended, overvalued in our opinion, could continue to stay overvalued for a longer period of time. So this is something that we have to uh, take note of. And for most, most investors, uh, any time is a good time to invest as long as you have a long time horizon. But for new investors especially, do not let greed be the main driver of your investment decision now. Uh, if you're not too sure how to start, I would kindly refer you to uh, our uh, website where you get the outlook on 2021. We have put out various articles and probably gives you a sense how you can look for uh, undervalued markets, uh, markets that are not so risky. For the rest of the investors, uh, some of you may have gone through even more market cycles than me. So I hope the rest of the 10 speakers today, the expert speakers, will be able to give you a better idea how you want to formulate your investment strategies going into 2021. The one thing I would like to highlight again, I've been highlighting more than one time already, uh, is really, I, I don't think the best investor is measured by how much returns they can generate. Uh, everyone can become a better investor. Uh, I'm not too sure what is the best way to define a best investor. But everyone can be a better investor if you just manage your greed and fear better. So don't panic sell when there's fear, there's blood out, out there in the market. If you, are, you, you do not dare to add in uh, more investment, say for example, March last year, at the very least, do not panic sell. And for investors who have yet to invest, take your time. The markets are not exactly cheap right now. So do not chase the returns at this point of time. So if you manage your greed and fear very well, I'm sure you will turn out to be a better investor. Okay, I thank you for, lastly, I thank you for your trust over the years. If you have enjoyed the platform, please share us, uh, please share with your friends about FSM1 and I hope to meet up with even more investors who are passionate about investment. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and until we meet again, I wish you the best of wealth and more importantly, best of health. Please take care and until we meet again. Thank you.